Martinez, come and look. Oh my god, it's finally here. Team of the year, FIFA Ultimate Team. I've been waiting for this. Martinez, it's finally here. No way. Yes, the team of the year. Hey guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, today we're doing something special as you can really see. Really special. We're going to actually... How do I say this? We're going to pick our 11th yeah. the pitch, like the team of the year. Our yeah, 11th. the best player that have played this 2018. So yeah, this is going to be very exciting. As you see, I'm a United fan, he's a Chelsea fan. Yeah, but hey, we're going to be 100% honest. Yeah, we are. We're going to be honest. So this is very fun. As you can see on the goalkeepers, we have Alison, Courtois, De Gea, Loris, and Oblak. Oh. And I must say, uh, Alison, he's he played amazing. Yes. Uh, also, Courtois, uh, when he was the World Cup, he had a lot of clean sheets. He's been a little bit unlucky when he played at Real Madrid. Yeah. I think. How do? Which one should we pick? I feel like. Okay, Oblak has been amazing at yeah. Atletico Madrid. He's been like a. Uh, Super duper good keeper. Yeah. But mm, Lodi's won the World Cup. Yes, but that doesn't mean that he's the team of the year keeper. No. Um, I think Allison, either Allison or Paul Black. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Let's. Um, Allison did very well in the World Cup, though. Yes, and he's played really good at Liverpool. Okay, should we take Allison? Yes, I think okay. so. Okay, on the next, we're going to start with the left back. Left back. I got hair in my mouth. Oh, uh, and for the left back, what do you think? Because we have Lucas Hernandez who played very well in the World Cup. Oh yeah. We have Marcelo, Philip Lewis. I think it's a lot of them. Marcelo, I think, is just getting better and better. The skills he has, yeah, like the defense, like he's doing, he can shoot, he can be a winger. Like, I'm so impressed by him right now. I know. So maybe we should go for him or. Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba has been amazing too. But Marcel also won the World no, uh, Champions League. Yes, and Lucas uh, Hernandez has been amazing with France. He's mm -hmm. been one of the best. Okay, players. let's pick Marcel. Yes, I feel like he's been so good. Now we have two Brazilian. Yeah. Um, like, he's been so good. So. Okay, let's pick him. And now over to the right back, we yes. have a lot of goods there too. Kyle Ooh. Walker, uh, Carval, and uh, Trippier, like it's many of them there too. But I think it's very like close there because I think it's two that have been very good. It's Kyle Walker and, uh, and Kimmich. Yes. I feel like Kimmich is so young too, like he's yeah. been so 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 good. And for his age, he's world class. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, but I think we have to go for Kyle Walker. You think so? I feel Kimmich. I don't. Okay, so we talked a little and we just, you know, took that away because that would be boring for you guys and yeah, we're going for Kimmich. Okay, so right now we're going over to the center backs and we have a lot of good ones there too. It's only good ones because yes. it's the team of the year. And we have like the Italians like Chiellini, has been amazing. We have Ramos, uh, Varane, Umtiti, like it's many of them. When I saw Varane and Umtiti in World Cup, like they were playing so good, like the stats they have, like... I know, I feel, I feel totally the same because we have like Virgil van Dijk, has been amazing for Liverpool, mm -hmm. Chiellini played well and like it's many of them, but you know we have Varane and Umtiti who played the World Cup and they won it. They just did amazing and both of them played also well for their team. Yes, and Varane and Umtiti has played well in the whole 2018, mm. while Van Dijk has been amazing in the end of the 2018. Yeah, uh, so I think we're going for Varane and The French and superstars. The French superstars. <laughs> Now 
now we're going over to the central midfielders, and yes. we have a lot of good ones there too. Oof. Pogba, Rakitic, Modric, Fernandinho, Kante, like, Dybala, like the attacking and the defensive midfielders. It's just so many good of them. Insane. I think Pogba, he didn't have the best season last season. It was good, but not that good. But like in December, like right now, he played amazing, just scoring goals after goals. But you know, we have to count the whole 2018, so it's not going to be him. I feel like Modric is just, yeah, he, he has to be because like at this moment, he's the best player in the world. Yeah, so he has to come in there. And I think Kante has played amazing, so of course, Modric, Kante... Like he, he's not from the world, he's not from this planet. <laughs> he's amazing. And no, no one can hate him. Like, no, it's not possible. It's just that maybe Dybala or Casemiro. I would love to see a Dybala uh, card though, because yeah. his card will look amazing. Should yeah. we go for Dybala? Okay, so we have Dybala, Kante and Modric. Boom. Okay, for our right wing, we have a lot of good right wing. Right it's wingers. only good ones. Mohamed Salah has had an amazing year. We have also Kylian Mbappe has Kylian. been, yeah, I don't know, like he's been so good and he's like 20 19. years old right now. Yeah, now he's 20, but, and you know, we have Gareth Bale that has been amazing. He played mm. so good. I feel like he played so good in the final. Yeah, that's exactly. it. But he, ha he has been injured so many times and he hasn't played so good through the whole 2018. But I think it's very close to Mbappe and, and Salah. Salah. But I would maybe pick Mbappe. But listen though, because you have Salah who uh, set, uh, set a new record in the Premier League for most goal in one season. Yes, I know, but like he didn't play so good in the start of the uh, this season, you know? And Mbappe, I feel like he's been just running and going. And that's going true, and that's true, but he's also in the League One. Premier League is much more difficult. That's true. Okay, which one do you want to go for? Because of his age, I want to uh, do Mbappe. Okay, then we do Mbappe. So our next position is left wing, and yeah. I'm so excited for this one. Yeah, because we have a lot of good ones. Neymar, we have Mane and Hazard. Now I'm gonna say Mane, he's okay, but he's not world class. And yeah, Neymar has been amazing, of course, but like I think Hassan has had an amazing year. Yes, he's been leading Belgium to like semi final. Like it's been amazing for him. And you know, Neymar has been good, but uh, I think Hassan has uh, had a better year. Yeah, I feel, I feel like he's had one of his best years in his yeah. life. So we're going for left wing Hassan. For our striker, we have a lot of good ones there too. Of course, Messi, Ronaldo, we have Mandzukic, we have Griezmann, Harry Kane, Aguero, Aguero, like. And I think it's like place. very clear what two we should pick. It's like either Ronaldo or Messi, and we've been thinking the same because Ronaldo has been amazing, of course, but like Messi, he's just been keep going, scoring goal, goals after goals, fifth in the Ballon d'Or, like. I don't agree at all. He's no. had an amazing year. Harry Kane too has been unbelievable. Griezmann too. Griezmann. You know, they've been good, but Messi, yeah, he's the next level. So we pick Messi for the striker position. Okay, so this is our team for the team of the year, the top eleven, and we hope you guys like it. And also. Comment down below if you're not if you don't agree. Just show us uh, how your team would line up. And yeah, we're so excited to see how the team of the year is going to be. Yes. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Peace out.